I want to say that the extension office is going to be your best place to always get advice, but that's not always going to work depending on where you live. You may not have a home horticulturist or, or anyone with that expertise directly in your city or county, but certainly if you go to your state's land-grant university website, you'll find a lot of resources even if you don't have that person there in your county. Um, you know, for University of Idaho, for example, we have an entire website devoted to Idaho landscapes and gardens where we focus on the types of issues that, that Idaho home gardeners are going to face and we try to give them really reliable research-based answers to that. In the western region, another great resource we have is the Pacific Northwest Handbooks for Insect, Weed, and Disease Control. And those are really wonderful books, especially if you know what you're dealing with because they give you a complete rundown of pest control options. You know, if I run out of resources in Idaho, I will look to my neighboring states. I'll look at Utah, Washington, Oregon, Colorado, and go to their extension website. Sometimes I'll even go to UC Davis. They have a really excellent IPM website. If I'm just trying to find especially something that maybe we haven't seen around here before to see what's either coming from east or west, because typically they're all going to eventually end up here. So I really look at any kind of university resource really some of our new farmers or even some of our backyard gardeners can learn a lot by networking with other f small farmers or gardeners in their community. Uh, sometimes that's how they really share information and advice and we have found that really that's where people look first. So that's one of the benefits of say a master gardener program where we train community volunteers so that they're actually becoming that resource in their neighborhood or among their family and friends is that's number one where they go and then they'll go to a nursery or a garden center and so we really try to get some of those employees into our programs or into trainings too so that they're empowered with really research-based accurate advice and they're not just recommending something because it's on the shelf.